Hello, welcome to this new class. I'm here to translate this to English. The other translator is very busy, so I'll continue with this. Hope you like it. And hello, welcome to this new class. In this case, we will work on the guamplets. And this class will be just the shape that we need. We will extract them, like the mask or the little pieces of the glove, for create a new subtool. And before that, we will add the details to the subtools that we create. And that's the order that we will follow today for this curse. And for that, we will create a new mask. And remember that we need to work with the local symmetry because later we could get some troubles. And I will show you how do I fix that. You select the subtool, then go to geometry, then go to position. Here, position. We need the x axis and zero. Why do I do this? Because the symmetry works only in the x axis. So if we got this in zero, it will work pretty good. And that's the way to ubicate your model just in the middle. For make the symmetry work. So this kind of problems are very good that uh, we've got this here in the class. Because I could show you how do I resolve that. So in this case, it works because it's only Batman. And for example, if I work on a Batman, a Joker here and a Harley Quinn here. In this case, if I ubicate the three characters in the middle, I can't work because I'll have the three characters one over the other. I don't know if I make myself clear on this. But later I'll show you how do I integrate the three characters because we need a fight as I show you in the first class. Well, without more, we'll start with this. I will select here on brushes, I'll create a mask. I'll go here on lasso selection. So here are the messages that I only can use this when I press Ctrl Shift. Here I press it and I've got a lasso. For, oh sorry, on this case it is for this kind of selections, but I want it's use only the control for create a mask using the lasso. Give me a second, I guess that is here, where we selected the first option. Oh, well, and now I remember, we just press Ctrl, we go to the Stroke option, and we change it for the Lasso option. So now when I press Ctrl, I could use the Lasso Stroke. In this case, I'll just press Ctrl, and I'll select this. If we have some doubt on this, I guess that we could go to the reference that we have. I'll look for There is something very important here. We've got here viewports. Remember this uh, viewport doesn't work the first time and there is the other that is a blueprint and those blueprints doesn't have any kind of perspective and we could ubicate the images, the reference you could have it on the supplies the download resource and here we will look on the perspective, the guantlets we have this curve here and it will follow this part of the forearm and basically it moves up here and here in the lateral part we could see that is pretty good I'll go to ZBrush again and 
I see here a curve, so I'll press Ctrl Alt. And that allow me to remove the mask that I have. So I want to look for a shape like this. Here behind the elbow I will remove a bit of gauntlet, a bit of mask. There is a lot of ways to make this instruction. I will show you one of them. It is the split option. So I will duplicate this model. I press here duplicate. And here we've got the two meshes. So I'll hide the other. Because I want to keep this fast on my computer. Here because I had a mask I will use Control Alt and click for make a sharp mask. It will add more definition to our mask. I'll do that again. Control and click. I'll check here if we need a lower resolution. I don't think so. I will use this. Later we could move it down. I'll go to geometry. Here we could select the lower or free subdivisions. For now I will use the lower. And here we've got a mesh without any subdivision level because the program asked me for it for use the split option. And here on split the split option excuse me here on subtool I've got the split options. And I'll go here to split masked points. And I select it. And the program will split the selection that I did. And we'll create a different subtool with it. And on this case, I will select the anterior subtool and press Ctrl C. And here I've got the hands again, but I will keep the selection that I did before on the other subtool. And remember that here on this mesh we don't have subdivisions, so we will keep it. Well, no, I guess that I will delete this mesh. There it is. And I keep the original mesh that have the subdivision levels. And I've got the gauntlets. So I will do something here. I will press Shift F for visualize the polygroups. And I'll go to the geometry option here on edge loop. Edge, edge loop, it's like if I select an edge, it will select the edge at the side and the edge at the side and the edge at the side. And it will create some kind of ring. For example, I select this line and it will select the complete line. So, if we have a lot of polygons, we could work like this, selecting a complete line. Here on this class, I want to use the group loops. So, it will keep the polygons that I have, but it will smooth the edge. Here I'll press Shift F and as you can see here I've got a very clean mesh and I will visualize Batman. As you can see here I've got this mesh perfectly over the other and later I will show you how to add more volume to this. Something more like leather texture for it for add the definition to this part. For this moment I guess that is fine like that. I will select the gauntlets and I will rename it. You could use gauntlets for it or glove. And on this moment we've got the first mesh. That is the gloves. And the next class we will proceed to split the boots. Hope you like it and see you next class.